I'm fairly new to this fire community. It's an interesting quality, and I don't understand it yet, of this crop of people I'm meeting now who have much more focus on the mechanics of accumulating money and getting out. That's what I would think of anybody who embarks on this path, is like, good on ya. And you have an identity crisis waiting right by the door, you know, for when you get out. You have to want something more than you want stuff. You have to want something more than the life that you have in order to make the journey worthwhile. Otherwise, it feels like deprivation. You know, I'm cutting things out, but, you know, if you don't want... I, I'm a big believer in wanting, you know? I want, 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 want. I want a lot. But I have invested my wanting. I've invested that, that hedonic, you know, root chakra, you know, <laughs> fire in the belly. I've invested that in, um, in social change and um, in, in social creativity. But if you don't want something more than you want the new whatever, golf clubs, it's going to be a difficult path. What makes it easy is that you want something else, is investing your wanting in something else. Um, so I don't know, you know, with, with uh, <laughs> I, I, young, uh, new converts are always very appealing, and you always know that there are the perils of the path and that they will get to them and that they're going to have to want something more than their old life. And the old life has a lot of appeal. It's the intensity of your wanting of the thing that's beyond stuff, beyond social status, beyond all the things that money, money and the things that money can buy. That's what makes this whole thing a delight.